I had to stop because a neighbor stopped me to talk to me. <laughs> it was very nice. She was telling me about the deer that she sees. Okay, well, this is this side of St. George. And up through there, that that's the golf course back there. So now I'm going across the street where St. George, that's um, the road that turns into the cul-de-sac. And this is the other part of the conservation area that is full of water. And looking at it this full, um, I'm sure that um, it's up into some backyards a little bit, maybe. Now, I'm seeing this water flow here. Where is there a drain? I have to look to see where this goes. See, everything's coming from the front of Island Green all the way back here. Where's a drain? Okay. Is that it right there? Yep. Okay, there's a drain there that it goes into. And then under the street most likely and then here comes out here and goes into the Waccamaw National Wildlife Refuge. But it doesn't even look like it's moving. I don't see a flow to it. Not at all. So it's just gonna get higher if it rains anymore. What? I wonder, does that train? Right there. Does that go under the parking lot and out to the overflow ditch? I don't know. Here, water. Raining out of here. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Wait a There's a drain in the parking lot there. Oh. Ground's definitely wet here. Oh. Sloppy wet. Yet. 
they don't have them here. I've noticed there, right there. There's one right there. Just the water from over there come out into these things out into this overflow ditch. If not, what are these things for? <laughs> They're just plastic looking pipes. I don't know. Oh, I smell skunk. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm gonna you can see all the water. I'm gonna check the wildlife refuge. See? You can see the flow right there. Going right to left, right into wildlife refuge which is wetland so to me it's like a sponge with all this extra water being added to it right and just coming back down coming right back down into Island Green. I mean, why would you, why would you do that? Why would that, why is that okay? Because this sponge here isn't going to accept any more water, so it's just going to go wherever it pleases. And because it's a higher elevation, even though right now we're kind of like on a hill. But the homes down there aren't. Not that I know of. I, don't, I haven't seen what it looks like in their homes back behind there. See, it collects with water. When it fills up, because the water has no place to go. Because the refuge is a wet sponge. Just my observation, what I see, my opinion. Why we need a hydrologist. Okay, that's it for now. Send me your photos and videos of what you see, please. We need this. Developers don't see this. They'll just build a model and think it'll work because they're so more experienced than us. Well, we know what works and what won't work because of our observations. They need them. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>